So that, my friends, is how a VLOOKUP function works. G'day everybody, this is Mupa Sega on behalf of Mupa Corp. Today we are going to be looking at how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel. And we're gonna be looking at it in an Eve sense as we always do. So I've got some information over here, Tech 1 Explorers, Tech 2 Explorers by race. Okay, this is just gonna be the data that we are going to be using today to, to play around with the VLOOKUP function. The VLOOKUP function has four arguments. And what do I be, mean by f arguments? I mean, when you go up to the the function bar up here and you start looking at a at a VLOOKUP, it brings up this here. So the lookup value, the table array, the column index number, and the range lookup, these are all the arguments that helps VLOOKUP find the information that it needs to find, that you set it to find. Um, what it means is a vertical lookup, how does it work? It presents a value that is in the same row as the criteria that you are looking for. And it, lo and it presents the value that is in the column that you reference. Okay, now this is difficult. I, I mean, that's not, a, that's not the most eloquent way of saying it. So let's move straight ahead and actually see how we use it. All right, so the arguments are, uh, what are we looking for? Where will we look? And in which column do you want to present the information back? So let's get straight into it. Okay, now we today we are going to be looking for the names of the Tech 1 Explorers and the Tech 2 Explorers, and we're going to be looking by race, okay? So let's put in, and now the, of course this doesn't need to be in the same order as what is over there, so let's mix it up, Min, Mata, Amar, and Galente, just to show you that it doesn't need to be the same. Now we're going to get straight into the formula here, we are going to equals V lookup bracket now the value that we are going to be looking up is Kaldari here and we are going to make this this reference absolute in the column so we need a a dollar sign or whatever you want to call it in front of the B because the B uh, the letters refer to your columns and of course the numbers refer to your rows I'm gonna press comma there now the the table array so this the group of cells that we are looking for this information in will always be over here for the Tech One Explorers, okay? So I just selected that over there, F4 to G7. Now I'm just gonna press an absolute reference right in front of there, like that. I'm now going to, because because that information's never gonna change. The table, the column index numbers is gonna be column two. So we are looking for the lookup value in the left handmost column. That's is how uh, VLOOKUP works. The left handmost column is where you want to find your lookup value and it will search and it will return the information that is horizontally across in the column index that you supply okay so anyway column one column two so we're going to put column two in there now i'm just going to put zero in this last thing the range lookup don't be too stressed about that that is a true or false value always put false for now until you understand how it works get into that another time Okay, so as you can see, it's returned today the Kaldari Heron, which is correct. The, the Tech One Ex Kaldari Explorer is indeed a Heron. Um, we are going to copy that formula and we are going to paste it down. Now, of course, we can, there is features in Excel to flash fill, but as you've seen in other videos, I do not like to flash fill on an already formatted sheet because it takes the formatting with it. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste the formulas instead. Now we are going to do it again manually here for the Tech 2 Explorers. In this instance, we are going to be looking at this table down here. So I'm going to go equals V lookup, look up the value in cell B3. Make that B absolute because when we drag that column around, we want the, the column to always stay the same. Now in this instance, it doesn't matter. I just like being setting your your rules up correctly from the get-go should you need to move stuff around, okay? All right, I'm gonna press comma. Now the table array, so the group of cells in which we are looking today for the Tech 2 Explorers is gonna be this fellow over here. Da-di-da. Now I'm gonna make that absolute because that information is always the same. 
the column index number. We are again looking in column two for the value, which is the name range lookup false. Now has presented that information there for us. It is of course correct. The Caldari Tech2 Explorer is a buzzard and a cheetah anathema halios for the Galante. Now we are going to show you just one more time another way of doing it. So what if these two um, Explorer lists were actually together, okay? And it looked a bit more like this. Explorers by race. Race, Tech1, Tech2, like, like this. Let's do it. We're going to, I'm going to copy those values there. We don't need to write them in again. Paste values. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to go equals VLOOKUP. The value that we are looking up is again in the B column. Make that absolute in the column reference. The table that we are looking up this time is down here. F18 to H21 in this instance, making that absolute because that doesn't want to change when we when we move our cells about or when we flash fill or when we copy cells. It always needs to be looking in that same uh, region. So the column index number for the tech one is the second column. So column one, column two, column three. In this instance for the tech one explorers, we are looking for the, the column two reference. False. There we go. So I'm going to copy that down. I'm going to paste formulas very quickly here. And now because we've got this B8 reference and it is still referencing the same column, the only thing that if I copy this over here and and um, put it over there. See how it's looking again for for the same thing because it's it was made an absolute reference in the column. It's still looking in the exact same place for the the table array, but it's still the problem here is that it's looking in column three. All right, so I want it to look in column three, uh, so column two. Sorry, it's still looking in column two. I need need it to be looking in column three for the tech two equivalents. So I'm going to go over there, change that to three. Now we're getting the correct value that we wanted to find, and we are going to put that down over here. Copy the formulas. So that, my friends, is how a VLOOKUP function works. Uh, the extras today were just that annoying extra argument. Don't stress about that. Um, moving on, we will be doing more function tutorials. We'll be looking at a sum if function. Should you need to be looking up numbers rather than single values? Should you be need to needing to look up um, like a, need to sum a whole bunch of values? Maybe you need to use an if function, which has its own cool little arguments. You set the arguments for that. We will also be looking at formatting. Like today, you can see static formatting. So the kind of things that I just set up and said, okay, I want orange text and I want these colors in the background. But we will also be looking at conditional formatting. So things like, what if I wanted to find, present all the Caldari things? So conditional formatting changes depending on the cells and the, the rules that you kind of specify. So what if I want to find all the Caldari things and, and present that visually in a satisfying way? I don't know if that is satisfying, but but you get the idea. Mimitar or Galente, you know, so you can do cool things like that. Moreover, you can say, well, I just want to see the tech one items. Where am I looking? Okay, there. What about the tech two over there? Okay. Well, now what if I want to find the Tech1 Caldari Explorer? See how we have some overlapping features here. So it's saying the Heron and the Tech1 Caldari Explorer is indeed a Heron. But what about the Tech2 Caldari Explorer? It's the buzzard. Okay. Um, ignore that. I, I need to set that conditional formatting up. But let's go back to Tech1. Caldari. Um, Galente. Imicus. Indeed. Indeed. What about the Amar? Well, you get the I, you get the idea. Um, thank you all for being here. I hope it has uh, brought you just a little bit of value. Until next time, get out there and and start v looking up. Mm -hmm.